who did you say received this from the bailiff? Zuchuku showed it to me when I returned. Honey, what do we do? Ah, I don't know. I don't know, my dear. Well, hmm. perhaps we should resume and complete our own house. Yes. It's okay. The land we bought with our land right. <laughs> yes, my dear. There is no land that is sold without land right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm so confused. My dear. I know where this is coming from. Our new commissioner. Oh yes, he tried everything to revoke my contracts. But failed. Now he wants to try another angle. What, what, what scores do you have with him? I have no scores with him. I don't have any scores with him. He's just power drunk who wants to wield a modicum of influence. You know. Um, well, he's in charge now. He's in charge of his pokey office. Yes, he's not in charge of me. Never! Tomorrow, I'll ask the SSG who gave him this ugly tete, the wings that he wants to fly with. No, I don't think so. You know, the exams are fast approaching and uh, you know how tedious accountants are. Well, I don't have any idea at all. Eh? <laughs> Me too. Come. <laughs> Medicine, accountancy. You guys are weird. <laughs> really? Is that why you opted for law instead of medicine? Even though mom wanted you to do medicine? Come on, man. Two doctors in the house. Mm, that'll be boring. You know, a doctor, a lawyer, and perhaps Nina, a banker. It makes more sense. So what's this talk about taking us to court over this property? That's politics and um, unnecessary abuse of power. You know, that guy was the guy that revoked Dad's contract. I think Dad stepped on his toes in the past, so sort of a payback time for him. Mm, I guess Dad has a lot of enemies, yeah. There is no fortune without a crime. You cannot succeed in business without hurting a couple of people. Do you have a conscience at all? <laughs> Listen, man, if you want to be successful in life, you have to stop giving in to sentiments. Only weaklings do. But what has Dad said about all these things? Well, I don't know. But, you know, I suggest litigation. You have to fight your perceived enemies before you get trampled upon. Do you know they are such a beast? Uh-uh. I'm just a bad guy. You're a cultist in school. <laughs> Whatever. A bad guy is a bad guy. But anyway, have you seen my other phone around? <laughs> I don't know. We'll look for it somewhere and use it with you. Yes, yes, madam. No, 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 no. This is not Mrs. Chuku. Mrs. Chuku is no longer here. No, no, no. Not on transfer. She's been retired. She has gone on retirement. Yes. I am Mrs. Obala. Anne Obala. Yes, I'm the new principal. Thank you. Thank you so much. You don't have a problem at all. You can send the kid and um, she will be well taken care of. I assure you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for calling. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. Nice meeting you again. Nice to meet you, Tomar. And then you're welcome to St. Loretta's. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. 
Yes, um, madam, I... Since I resumed last week, you've been so inconsistent. You know, I, I... I started scouting for your number to call you to know if we could have a chat. So, I want to know if everything is okay with you, madam. Yes, madam. All is well. Oh, praise God. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Um, you see, I am not the regular coming type. You have a permission for that? Well, you, you know, uh, we have not um, properly introduced ourselves. Okay. <clears throat> I am the sister to Honorable Chris Ezia, the Chief of Staff to His Excellency, Madam. Oh, that's splendid! Oh, nice meeting you again, oh, Madam. Same here, Madam. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, back to our subject. You know, I, I was asking you why you've been very inconsistent in school, and you were about telling me why. So, I'm listening. Um. Okay, Madam. <clears throat> You see, I run this hectic jewelry and fabric merchandise, which takes me out of the country most times, you know, to Dubai, Europe, everywhere. And then the little time that I have left, I use it to scout for my buyers. <laughs> At the expense of the children's education? That's so wrong, madam. This college has a pedigree. For, for academic and moral upbringing. And I wouldn't want that cadre of excellence to capsize at this time in purview. So what are you saying in essence, madam? That I should quit my well-paying business for this petty tendon job? No, 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 madam. I, I think it should be the other way around. You could actually abandon this your petty tendon job for your well-paying business. That way, the children's education will not suffer again because a more credible and devoted professional will take your place. Impossible, madam. That I should quit my job. For what? Because you became the new principal? Hell no. Now, if you are not satisfied with the way that I do my job, you can as well go ahead and do whatever you want. Excuse me. Hold on, madam. Why don't you apply for a transfer? And I would gladly endorse it. No way. Now, this is where I work. And this is where I teach. So I am not going to abandon it for anyone not even you for that matter. Code. Then stay and teach. Stay and teach, madam. Can't you say that is what the problem is? Your refusal to teach is my problem. Well, that is your problem. But I can assure you, it is not a problem for the school. Neither is it a problem for the government who employed both you and I. Now I beg to take my leave, madam. I don't enjoy being challenged, madam.
The chairman is ill and needs to be taken to the hospital right now. Someone call me the ambulance. Jesus. Help me. Somebody help me. Can you please sit down and wait? Let me finish with you. Here we are. Sir. Oh, not you. Just continue what you're doing. Okay, sir. Good day, sir. Is he unconscious? Yeah, he was brought here by staffs with a complaint of um, hemotiasis and a wired cough. They said he passed out while undergoing the same attack. <coughs> what could be the diagnosis? A chest history would have been a perfect diagnosis. But given his unconscious condition, I recommend we just hold on, you know? until he comes around. Could it be cancer? <sighs> I wouldn't say so, or <coughs> rather say so. But um, until the H3 results and other results, test results are out, then we can make a conclusion. He is now the commissioner for us. I don't know what he has for us. Hmm? So. Honey, I'm afraid of you. No, no, no. What for? Are you sure he will not be agreed with you as well over what your elder brother did? Why? Did I support my elder brother? Well, don't worry yourself over nothing, okay? I'm just going. So, when I'm coming back. Ah, I will be back soon, okay? And I know I'm going to miss you now. Nah. This house is going to be lonely. <laughs> Don't worry. You will come okay. before the huh? weekend. Okay. Just take care of yourself. Okay, huh? Alright. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, madam. Thank you, doctor. I just received the result of the yesterday's history from our radiographer, which clearly indicates that your husband, Mr. Pura, is suffering from the symptoms of the lungs of the tumor of the primary stage. What? You mean he has lung cancer? Yes. The concentration ah. around the chest are methods. Ah. And uh, that shows the effect of the malignant pleural effusion, which led to the collapse in the function of the lungs. Satan, you are a liar! Madam, calm down and hear me out first. Doctor, what do you want me to hear? That cancer is terminal and that my husband is not going to survive it. Mm. Is that what you want me to know? No, 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 madam. On the contrary, your husband is going to survive because there is a remedy to his own kind of tumor. All he knows needs to pass is just through surgical recession, via which the tumor will be dispelled. There's nothing absolutely to worry about. Doctor, whatever you can do, please just go ahead and do it. Money is not a consideration. Please. Okay, we'll try our best. We'll try our best. We'll start by applying a large caliber of natural drain, which will help to cushion the effect of the pleural effusion. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Please, I just want my husband alive. I will need a deposit of 50,000 I to just kick up. No. 
Everything was normal as at the time we finished the operation, and it's still normal now. The surgeon just hurried off to the teaching hospital, where he has other two sets of operations to conduct. There is nothing to worry about. The tumor was successfully removed. I will look forward to a speedy recovery. Thank you very much, doctor. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. So do you have any projection as to when it's going to come around? Uh, see. It only sits for hours. And can he eat something afterwards? Uh, we'll have to examine him first before we can decide whether to give him something. In the meantime, you have to excuse me. Wait, doctor. Are you assuring us there will be no further complications? Because my father here means the world to us. Your father will be fine. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Mm. <sighs> Sorry guys, sorry. You're behind. You're behind. Honey? You yes, Dad, I'm here. Mom. Honey? So. I'm here. I'm here to take care of you. My dear, what is wrong with me? Nothing. You will be fine. You're sure? I know so. Nandi, you are a medical student. Why are you looking like that? That has the doctor, has the doctor told you I am going to die? No, 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 Dad. The doctor said no such thing. In fact, he said, after your treatment, with a little rest, you'll be back on your feet. Hey, 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 hey. let's just call a spade a spade, okay? Let's tell him that his romance with the cigars has led to his lung cancer. How dare you, Namdi? Namdi, you have to be cautious with the way you talk. Look, being a medical student doesn't make you a doctor yet, okay? You know what? I'm just upset, alright? Dad is stubborn. All he thinks about is his personal ambition. What has come over you, Namdi? Namdi, you're talking carelessly and it's not necessary here. Look at the both of you. You're just cowards staring at the face of truth. He doesn't relate well to his brothers and sisters. He doesn't relate well to his friends. He doesn't just relate Get well. out of this room! Hey, it's okay, Mom. It's okay. That doesn't need this. Now! Get out. Fine, I'll be out. But just so you know, let's not talk with that all the way. Why are his brothers and sisters? Nandi! Out! It's about time reality set in. Nandi! That, that, don't mind. It's okay, okay? Cheer up. Nandi is only upset because you took ill and he's naturally. This, this is a shocking revelation. Perhaps I have stayed too long in making some necessary changes in my way of life. Okay. Um, yes, everything is well. Listen, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now, so if you don't have anything to talk about, you know, just I guess I'll talk to you later, okay? But if you have something to say, why don't you just say it and let me just go. Yes. I will see how I can chip it in at the next ESCO meeting. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, 
The pleasure is all mine, sir. Thank you. They won't even allow me to settle down to this job before they begin their requests. You know. I understand, sir. But your position is not an easy one. Oh! <laughs> it's unfortunate. But it is not unexpected. Tedious. Long time. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. And you're still looking fresh. As in all those good days. <laughs> Permit me. It's, it's not my making. Let's give God the glory. Good, um, good. It's, it's about um, 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 fi 15 years, isn't it? Precisely 1991. What a sharp memory you have there. That's very correct. That's very correct. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have you gone through the documents? Yeah, I've um, uh, gone through. The contract is... Was awarded to your brother's company. But it has been revoked as that. Uh, why would they do that? Um, I'm sorry, sir. You don't have to be sorry, Tedeos. Your brother is a mean and a wicked man. Do you care for a drink? Um, no, thank you, sir. Okay. I am sure you remember the Anobe Water Project. Yeah, yeah. You know how many millions of Naira I invested to secure that contract? before I brought your brother in. Yeah. You also know that Etelbert double-crossed me when a new military administrator came on board. He ensured that that contract was revoked and he re-entered the bid for that contract in his name and got the job for himself. I'm sure you remember all that. Yeah, I do. I, I remember. Of course I know you do. Because I remember he fired you from his company when you came and testified in our club to the correctness of the matter. True or false? That's correct. And that was how remotely, though, you lost your son. Gilbert, um, I'm sorry, sir. You don't have to call me, sir. Tedeos, call me Gilbert. We are contemporaries, you know. It's okay. Um, with due respect, I really want to know exactly where you are hunting at. I want you to take over that contract and complete it. And what happens to my brother? If your brother feels mistreated, he can go to court and seek redress. Do you know that your brother Etelbert paid 10 million naira to some members of the state house of assembly to manipulate my screening and turn down my nomination for this post? Do you know? Uh, are you telling me you're trying to get a revenge on my brother? Tedios, I will do whatever it takes. To make a Telbet your brother suffer. I will do whatever it takes to make a Telbet suffer. I will. However long it takes. However long his treachery and sabotage has made us suffer. I will a Telbet. I will. I don't know why you're this worked up. Are you trying to say I'm not capable of taking care of dad? Nana, I have not said so. I know you can. But your father needs me. But mom, you got a message that supervisors are coming to your school tomorrow. You can't afford not to be there. Is it you could not at the expense of your father's health? Mom, you need your job. You're an advocate for good leadership. You should be there. Yes. Moreover, you have to be there to prepare for the verification. Nandi, where have you been? Well, I don't think it's going on wrong. This is a letter from the state ministry saying that that contracts have been revoked. Why? Why? Why would they do a thing like this? Your father has done 50% of these jobs. 
and he has expended over over half a billion naira. What? Well, I think you should ask Dad himself. I mean, those who live in glass houses do not throw stones, do they? For God's sake, Nandi, where did all this emotional outburst spring up from? And since when did you become Dad's biggest critic? No, no, no. Let him talk. Nandi, talk! Talk, you have a mouth. Talk! You might even say that your father is responsible for Toben Nandi's death. <laughs> well, I mean, if you had supported Uncle Thaddeus in all these things, he wouldn't have been vindictive, and, 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 and I'm sure Tobina would have still been alive today. Hit me. Hit me if you're not his wife. Hit me if you're not a living testimony to the things he was doing. Nandi, with... just stop. What is wrong with you? Stop this. What is it? How, 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 how did you just become this cruel? When you know dad is in the hospital struggling for his life. Let us look at this from a logical point of view and stop bickering like women. Meaning? Apologies to you, mom and Nina. But the truth is, it is apparent that it's the same person who is behind the quick notice given to us over this property that is also behind the revocation of those contracts. Isn't it obvious? So what is the legal justification to this? Well, if you step on people's toes on your way up, surely your head will be stepped on when these demons are flying up. This is unbelievable. Somebody's first son that is supposed to be protecting him is talking like this. Mom, oh. you're just magnifying the whole issue by acting the way you are. Now this bickering has nothing to do with the issue. I just ignore him. I don't blame you. Oh, I don't blame you, Namdi. Because cowards abound everywhere. But if I be my father's son, I will fight his detractors to death. I take an exception to that. Namdi, if you support my father's enemies, then you are my enemy. What, what, is, that? Nandi. what is wrong Nandi. with you? Nandi. What is wrong with you? Mom! I don't see what he's done! Mom! 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 Oh my god! Mom! Oh my god! Wait, wait! Doctor! Doctor! Doctor, please tell us about mother's condition, please. Okay, once you're gonna let's get to my office first. Doctor, please, we need this suspect. Let's just tell us now. Okay. Your mother underwent a transient minor attack. Jesus. What, 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 what is that? That means she had a partial stroke. The test result carried out on her shows there is no potential damage along the brain, which means she will recover fully. I mean, if all things be equal. But do, 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 do you think that all chances will be equal? Okay, do doctor, are you trying to say that she's going to be all right? Because I don't understand these medical jargons you are talking about. The mother suffered undue pressure recently, which is well understood. You know, the shock of the domestic accident, as you put it, was what made her to pass out. She don't need rest and medication. I assure you all things will be fine. Hmm? Your mother will be okay.
Huh? You know you should always be in charge instead of destabilizing. You know your siblings are looking up to you. Hmm? I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I was going to lose you. I didn't mean to hit you. It was just an accident. I Mom. know you would never raise your hand on me. Mom, don't worry. Everything is fine, okay? God will continue to keep you alive for us. And nothing will happen to you or dad. Amen. Talking about your father, why are we all here and he's all alone in the hospital? We just wanted to make sure you're fine. I'll be on my way soon to the hospital. Well, let's go. No, mom, no, no. You need all the rest you can afford now. The doctor says you need it. Moreover, you have to be in school tomorrow, so just relax. It is my husband we're talking about here. And mom, we're talking about my father here. I can take care of him. Just relax, please. Well, I think I'll go with you. Okay? Mom, you just stay here with the zoo. Go with you. Okay, children. Let us always pray that your father does not leave us. I, I love my family. And mom, we love you too. <laughs> <laughs> just let me relish the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no um, you said everything will be fine. Everything will be fine as in you want to continue suffering or you want to accept my proposal and become comfortable? Um, with due respect and without prejudice, I do not want to take anything that should have been of my brother's irrespective of whatever he has done to me in the past. I don't want people to see me as being vindictive. That is it. Tedeus. Aquabachie. Even at this present time, you want to remain impoverished. You want to perish with your family in the village, huh? Mm. Ghost time. See, Gilbert. Shut up! Shut up! You are a foolish good man. Now get out of my office. Get out! Out of my office! What are you waiting for? You want me to send in the security and bundle you out? Get out! It's okay. Fine. It's okay. <laughs> you know, I and my brother has not been the best of friends. But I was just trying to picture the situation. If it is him. The way he would have just rushed the whole thing. No, one lie, I'm telling you. Look, I was thinking that you were going to turn down my offer. Is you? Yeah, but you are no more for me. But I, I, I knew, I knew, I knew you were not going to turn it down. <laughs> I'm going to say, after all, uh, is it not the same blood that flowing in your vein? <laughs> Give that. Give that. And I have... <laughs> you know? <laughs> are these all they demanded? Uh, yes, ma'am. These are all. Okay. Are all our staff present today? Yes, except for Mrs. Um... <coughs> oh, yes, yes. Mm. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mrs. Chubuka. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, ma, please, I'll be in my office to collect the remaining statistics. Okay. I'll call you as soon as I'm done studying this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. 
So, yes, yes, Mrs. Chibika. Madam, you look rather dull today. Is anything the matter? I have a slight fever, but I'm fine. So, how may I help you? Okay, um, I'm sorry not to take much of your time. This is a letter of exemption. Yes, madam. Why did you backdate it? Oh, please. Madam, this is for this um, verification stuff. I spoke to my brother, the chief of staff, and he asked me to tell you to sign that and then call him for further discussions. Oh. Oh. Here is his card. I should sign that I exempted you from duty for four weeks? Sorry. What principal in this state would exempt somebody from duty for one whole month? Do you understand what you're asking me to do? That is why my brother said you should endorse it and call him. No. <clears throat> you tell your brother to endorse it and call not even me, but superior authorities. Madam, I hope you know that this verification is for the purpose of increment of salaries and promotions. Thank God you know that. And that anyone who is not positively verified stands the chance of losing his or her job or not being paid salary. Thank you for informing me. Very well then. I do not want any of that to be my case. Because if that happens, then the worst will be your case. You know, Mrs. Chukuka, the last time we spoke, I realized you had this penchant for threats. But you know what? I had my ways with threats. Especially empty ones. Now get out of my office. Honey, that is me. <laughs> I have made it. I have made it. Morning. How come? God has answered our prayers. God has decided to wipe our tears. Honey, come on, let's go inside. I have a lot of things. I brought a lot of things. In fact, we are going back to the city. Where is my... So do what? Explain things to me. Now let me understand. How come about this car? Honey, I said I have made it. This is our car. Darling, you can't this travel car to the city is our in four days and come hey. back and made it. Did you? Think? God have wiped away our tears. Mama, you know something? At the end of the day, I was asked to come back the next day. And when I did, could you believe he made me his personal assistant on project monitoring and implementation? Not only that, you see that car parked outside there and the bungalow apartment in Jiarwe. Those are part of my fringe benefits. For the new job. Mama, relax. Relax. As I'm talking to you right now, I stand to do a contract worth 900 million naira. Hey! Chukwama! 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 Hey! Chuk
Hey, hey, I thank you. God is great. Mm. I, am I am you not saying anything to this. Mom, I am so happy. Dad, are we returning back to the city? A man, a man of my daughter. That's why your daddy came back. Okay? So what you have to do right now is to start getting ready. We are all moving back to the city to enjoy what the Lord has prepared for us. Oh. <laughs> so happy. I wonder what they are doing. Um, are they going to take me to the theatre? They will. Nandi has gone for the wheelchair. Yes, sir. Uh, I hope the money we are spending is not in vain. I pray. Honey, don't tell me you're losing hope. Because I know that this whole thing is coming to an end. In life or in death, <sighs> it's coming to an end. Daddy. Why are you doing this, Dad? Why are you demoralizing us? Why? Is yes, Dad. My spirit is weak. Make it strong, Father. Make it strong for us, okay? Look. Mom, Mom, look, I don't like this, Mom. If you're going to continue this display of fitlessness, Better go outside and stay with the doctors. Why I stay with Daddy here? I'm okay. I'm fine. Thank you. Pray for me. Pray hard. But you have to cut down when you're talking. And concentrate on the situation, please. Cast your mind on the surgery and be determined to fight for your life. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing those doctors can do for you that will surpass what you will do for yourself by remaining resolute. Okay? Please, Dad. I want you to fight for your survival. Please. Honey, please listen to him. Please. You will be fine. You will be. Good morning, Mr. Andy. I I was about to send for you. The roaster file that you gave me before my recess, did you take it back? 
because I can't seem to find it. Yes, I had to collect it for various SODs to endorse their columns. Okay. You know, we needed to attach it with the control copy. We needed to file in our verification document. Okay. So the verification, uh, I hope um, none of our staff had any problems. And I, I lent it out. Did you bring our own? Uh, yes, here is it, madam. Thank you. Please sit down. Oh, thank you, madam. Uh, yes, there was no problem except for Mrs. Chukoka, whose salary was suspended on account of her award from duty. That's a good job from the commission. Well, Mr. Andy, I I was about to send for you for something that I need to prosecute. Though it's quite personal, but it still has to do with the school. That's all right, madam. Our house is being revoked. The house is... Um, under the Ministry of Works and Housing. And you know, there's a new commissioner now. And my husband um, seems to have fallen out of favor with him. And we're being asked out. Although the notice has been given to us a long time ago, but because of my husband's health problem, we couldn't do anything at that time. And. Um, and now we are financially handicapped. So I, I want to know the status of the principal's quarters. Uh, the principal's apartment is very, very free, except for some minor innovations. Like what and what? Um, we need to invite a workman to evaluate the whole place. Oh, okay, Mr. Andy, please do that for me and urgently too. Yes, madam. Thank you. How is your husband, madam? I hope he's getting better. We thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I, I am fine. Um, how, how is your mother? Oh, she's gone to school. I, I thought you were supposed to go back to school yesterday. Um, Yesterday was Sunday, wasn't it? Yes, I was, but uh, I couldn't go. Izu is um, writing his exams, and then I just started the exams today. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, has anyone been able to see Gabriel? I'd like to know how things are going on at the sites. Father, why didn't you just stop? thinking about Gabriel and the side and your work and just concentrate on getting your your your, your, your health back, okay? <laughs> you're right. You're, you're right. Uh, oh, uh, has your mother been able to relocate us? Uh, I, 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 I don't think uh, it will be a nice thing to be disgraced out of uh, that house. Father, uh, she's on it. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Listen, don't you think it's time you started mending your fences? Don't you think it's about time you just owned up to your faults? It's about time you just got the courage to apologize to the myriads of human beings that you have wronged on the quest for your connections and your contracts? You are just too greedy, always following money like, like some wild, wild goose chase. Why? Do you think this plague that has befallen this family is normal? No, it's not. There's more to life than vanity and its fullness. Uh, 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 are you here to crucify me? Otto, help me. Well, depending on how you want to look at it, depending on how you want to look at the meaning of crucify and how you want to look at the meaning of help you, I'll call you the doctor. Get out of my I said, get out. Why? Is it because you don't want to face the truth? Or you think nobody knows? Oh, we know. Isu, Mom, Nenda, we all know the atrocities you committed. Even against your own friend, Gilbert the Commissioner. Even against your own half brothers and their siblings and their hey, brothers. Shut up! And get out! Get out! Get out! 
know you want me dead. You want me dead. Yeah. Now get out. Ah! Hey, sir. Ah! Are you okay? Get this, what is going on? Get this devil out of here and get me the doctor. Okay, sir. Hello. I'll come up. Please, sir. Please. Uh, uh, I will. But next time, don't flare in the face of truth. Get out! Please, go! Please, I'll leave. Don't worry, he won't trouble you anymore, okay? No. Where is he? He left. No. No. No, 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 Daddy, don't, don't stress yourself, please. Don't stress. Just lie down, okay? Please. He, he, he's not troubling me. Daddy. He's, he's telling me the truth. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just concerned. I, I, I'm protecting you. I don't want him to hurt you anymore, okay? Oh, that I go out of my way. To hurt people, to double cross them and take away what rightfully, what is rightfully theirs. Oh. Oh. What justifies my bout of vengeance against my brothers and sisters who themselves are victims? It's fine. I need to see Namdi. Thaddeus. Gilbert, you need. Daddy, you will see them. It's okay. I'm not okay. here. Hmm. I, I, I must seek their forgiveness. Oh, you will, okay? Oh. Just relax, please. Hmm. Don't stress yourself. Ah. Relax. Ah. Ah. It's now he knows. It's now Ethelbert knows that he has been causing suffering to people. It's now after 15 years, 15 solid years of horrible, nerve wracking, excruciating experience. Ethelbert wants me to come. He wants me to come and stand before him. Tell him it's not possible. The only time it will be possible is when I am pushed to take laws into my hands. When, when all these things were happening, my husband was not himself. But now, he has realized that he was wrong. I wouldn't know. I, I did not know. I didn't know. When I got to know was when Thaddeus lost his job and relocated to Plato State. That was when I got to know. And when you knew, what did you do? I'm a woman. I did what I should do at that point. I condemned his actions. I chastised him. And for that, Gilbert, I got the beating of my life. This is actually the first time I'm mentioning this to anybody. Please, Gilbert, do not refuse forgiveness to a contrite heart. Please, I beg you in the name of God, do this for my sake. Anne. Anne. Ethelbert, your husband, has never refrained from doing evil for your sake. Now, how do you expect me to do him a favor for your sake? No. Tell him 
Okay, okay. Because he's about to die. And in his usual desperation and crook lifestyle, he is looking for a cheap and an easy way to go to heaven. No way. No way, Anne. Tell him that I, Gilbert Ikechuku, will not come to hear his confessions and apologies. Neither will I forgive him in life or in death, in heaven or in hell. Tell him I lost my son and two daughters playing politics. Let him know that I started playing politics as a result of the frustrations his treachery and sabotage led me to. Tell him I will never forgive him. Tell him. Tell Ethelbert I will not come. Please. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Don't turn me down. Please. Hello. Gloria. Tell Damian to send in two security men to my office immediately. Immediately. Now. Why, Ethelbert, why would he want to see me when I know my present is not good for him? Akwambache, please, don't, don't talk like this now. Don't tell me to stop talking. Because there is only one thing that can never happen here. You cannot be beating a child and at the same time, you are stopping the child from crying. It is not done. This is my house. This is what God has blessed me with. So I have all the right to talk to any person at each given time. You are right. Talk. Talk. You can talk. Talk, but, but don't forget that he's your brother. Yes. That is why when I opened the door and saw the both of you, heaven would have let loose if not for the blood relationship I had with the Talbot. Yes. Darling, young Kurifa. Eh? Take it easy on them. What is take it easy? Eh? Listen, let me tell you. I don't want to know whether you are in support of your father's whatever. I don't care. Akwabache, please help us take care of your brother. Pico. Did I hear you say? Help you take care of my sick brother and forget my dead son. Listen, I don't want anybody to get me upset. Please don't walk out on us. Darling, you don't need to walk out on them. Help! Hey, Please, please help me beg him. Please, don't be afraid. Nina, please. I will talk to my husband. Please. Thank you. There was nothing I did not tell him to make him come with us. But he refused. He also refused his wife from following us. Gilbert did not hide his burning anger. He threatened fire and brimstone. The day our notice will expire and he still finds us in the house. Mm. Mm. And what about uh, the, uh, the position? What is the position of the re relocation issue? Everything is set. We will be moving some of our things this evening. I hope he has not uh, stopped the check that was issued to us from one of the companies we are working on. 
father, there are no more projects. Namdi! What? What's wrong with you? Why did you stop him? And what does he mean by no more projects? Did, did, did Gilbert stop the check? Did he? Get me a post of cost. Take, take me to him. I want him to look me in the eye. And tell me! Are you going to stress and sit to us? Get me a phone! Calm down! Get me a phone! That's what he said! I say get me! Hey! 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 It's okay, just ah! Honey, please just hang on, hang on. Calm down, everything will be fine, please. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. What is he doing? Honey, please, please. What is he doing? Papa. What is he doing? God. Doctor! Ah! Honey. Honey. Doctor! Honey! Honey! Honey, please, 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 please. Honey, please don't leave me. Don't leave me, please. Just stay. Just. He will. Please, please. Honey, honey, please. Go. Please. Honey, see. Doctor! See, see, see. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Please don't go anywhere. Please. Doctor! Honey, do you still love me? Yes, I do. Do you want this unborn baby I'm carrying to come inside this world nursing head? I mean, what kind of question is, is this? Do I love for my sake? For the sake of your daughter and the unborn son. I want you to forgive it, Albert. No matter what he has done. No. God is punishing him and the family. In fact, let me tell you, they will still suffer the more. God, in His infinite mercy, has blessed us with so many riches, darling. Look at our house. Do you dream of this? We never dreamt of this, even one day. I don't want us to continue living in hate and repairing evil with evil. No. No. Tell him please, I beg you. Oh. And tell what is still your brother. But. Tell him your blood. Your blood and flesh, please. We lost everything. <laughs> we kept our son all the way from the north. Came back here. I never could not save my son. Promise me you are going to see him in the hospital. <laughs> I beg you. Father, we want to thank you for a time like this as we present our brother, our father before your throne of mercy. Behold, father, he's about entering in the theater right now for a surgical operation. King Jesus, we invite you. Come and do it and receive the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Honey, it's okay. don't lose hope. Okay? Do not lose faith okay. because the Lord is on the throne. I'll be here waiting for you. Hope you're coming out to meet me, okay? It is well. It is well. It is well. <coughs> Strong dog, you'll be fine. We love you. We love you, sir. We'll be waiting for you. So I'll be here waiting for you. I'll be here waiting for you. We love you. Sorry, we lost him. 